Well, hey guys, in today's video, as promised, I'm gonna be sharing with you some sunscreens for the scalp and hair. Now, I got all of these products on Amazon using a gift card that I snagged through the Drop app. Today's video is in partnership with the Drop app. What is the Drop app? It's the easiest to use rewards app out there. It gives you points back from purchases that you make, and then later you can redeem those points for gift cards at your favorite retailer, like Amazon, Sephora, or Starbucks. And I really look forward to cashing in my points over the past holiday weekend, over Memorial Day weekend, I was taking advantage of some sales. And so I racked up a ton of points and I look forward to cashing that in for another Amazon gift card. Racking up points through the Drop app is really easy and happens very quickly. If you are not taking advantage of this app, you are seriously missing out on basically free cash in the form of gift cards. It's really easy. You just download the app and create an account and then you wanna link your credit card or debit card. And you can earn points through a variety of mechanisms, either by shopping at your favorite retailers within the app, they have over 400, um, or you can take advantage of exclusive card linked offers. You can get points by taking surveys or playing little fun games in their arcade. For example, go and open up the app, you go to the shop page and you tap on the offer that you're interested in. It will then take you to that retailer's page. You shop as you ordinarily would and complete the checkout process as you ordinarily would and then Drop automatically adds points to your account that you can then later redeem for gift cards. To take advantage of exclusive card linked offers, you just go to the card tab, make sure that your credit card or debit card is linked, tap the plus icon, and then you can add uh, specific card linked offers. That way, when you shop at those retailers, Drop will automatically add points to your account. So you don't have to think about anything. It's basically um, rewards without any red tape. Like you don't have to think about it. Um, there are no coupons, there's no receipt scanning. To kickstart your earnings, go ahead and download the Drop app using the link in my description box, either through the App Store or Google Play. And if you use my code, right now Drop is giving my subscribers 10,000 points, that's $10 worth of points for free when they sign up for the Drop app. And those points will be added to your account when you earn your first 1,000 points, which is really easy to do. So thank you, Drop, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. All right, I've been posting a lot on Instagram lately about the importance of protecting your scalp from the sun. And I get some comments, so you know, where I suspect the person is kind of raising an eyebrow, like, really? We need to be putting sunscreen on our scalp? But truthfully, skin cancers on the scalp are pretty common. Now, of course, your hair is going to offer quite a bit of protection, but if you have thinning hair or you wear a hairstyle where your scalp is exposed, then your scalp skin is going to see a lot of ultraviolet radiation. If you have ever had your scalp uh, burned from the sun, you know it's not pleasant, it's not comfortable. Now, the best way to protect your scalp, truthfully, is to wear a hat. Um, you know, but honestly, when you're in the pool, unless you wear a swim cap, when you're in the pool or when you're in the ocean, you're not likely going to be wearing a hat. Uh, so it's nice to have a product that you can massage into the scalp for scalp um, sunscreen. Now, you may be wondering, can't I just use my regular sunscreen that I put everywhere else? You certainly can. However, in my experience, um, some sunscreens wreak havoc on your actual hair shaft. They make it really greasy, they can make it dry, brittle, they can leave your hair frizzy and unmanageable. So I do think it can be helpful to instead select a scalp specific hair sunscreen. It's not necessary. If you don't experiment around, then I would suggest just grabbing a scalp sunscreen. The scalp sunscreen is not something that you necessarily need to be wearing every day. Um, again, a hat is the best way to protect your scalp. If you have hair like me, then you are getting a lot of protection. Um, and then that's probably honestly just enough. But if you're gonna be outside at the beach, by the pool, um, going swimming in the water, um, or you're outdoors hiking or something, ideally you're wearing a hat, but like I said, when you're in the water, that may not be possible. So can seriously consider one of these products that I'm gonna mention with you guys. To get it out of the way, every single product that I'm mentioning in this video does have fragrance. Just be aware of that. I'm not gonna keep repeating it over and over again. But if you have an allergy to fragrance, then you know you may just end up trying your sunscreen in your scalp. I would suggest that instead. This is by Kula. It's their SPF 30 Scalp Mist. And I actually really like this. It smells nice. It's very moisturizing. It has centella in it which can also offer a little bit of anti-inflammatory effect uh, if you have a sensitive scalp or your scalp is prone to dandruff. 
Um, this massaged into the scalp really easily. It didn't leave my hair greasy. It didn't, you know, build up on the hair. The way to use these sunscreen sprays for your scalp, if you have long hair like me, um, for example, just part your hair briefly in the middle, you know, kind of roughly, put a spray there, part it here roughly, put a spray here, and then part it here, and put a spray here. So in thirds, three sprays, and then massage that product all the way to the back of your scalp, down at the sides. That is the best way to do it. Don't just spray it onto the roots of the hair. Get it down in the scalp. Now this um, went into the scalp really easily. It was very moisturizing, but not greasy. Uh, I didn't weigh down my hair. I really couldn't even notice, you know, I didn't notice it at all in my hair. I wore this on camera a fair amount. People never really commented that my hair looked greasy. I couldn't notice it when I was editing. Now you may be worried if you have seborrhea that oils from products like this um, may aggravate it. That is always a possibility, but the bigger picture is that ultraviolet radiation from the sun will aggravate seborrheic dermatitis if your scalp is exposed. So, you know, using this for those days where you're outside by the pool, at the beach or whatever, is not going to put you into florid seborrheic dermatitis. Uh, if anything, it will help prevent a flare by offering that UV protection. Now this is a chemical sunscreen. All of these are chemical sunscreens, by the way. So it's got avobenzone for UVA protection and it's got some chemical filters for UVB. Really like this. Um, Kula is cruelty free and this product is vegan. A perfectly excellent dupe for it. I mean, basically ingredient for ingredient. Um, is by Walgreens. I mean, it's it's a carbon copy. Uh, so this is a great alternative. A lot, you know, more affordable. Same same ingredients. Looks the same. Smells the same. Couldn't tell the difference. Now, people will comment that these have SD alcohol in them. Well, molecular weight alcohols that can be drying, um, but is helpful for not being too greasy. I think they do just the right balance of the SD alcohol. Now, if you took this product, however, and you sprayed it directly on your hair, it probably would definitely leave your hair brittle. But directed to the scalp and getting, as it is transferred to the roots, I didn't have any problem with it whatsoever with that SD alcohol. So don't be alarmed by that. The majority of these scalp products are gonna have SD alcohol. The scalp is an area where there is a very high density of oil glands. You want that SD alcohol, otherwise it's just gonna be a greasy mess. So highly recommend these. And again, this isn't something that you're gonna be using on an everyday basis, like I said. All right, now another one that I highly recommend, this is actually probably my favorite, is by Banana Boat. Um, it's their hair and scalp defense SPF 30 lightweight non-greasy protection for hair and scalp. It looks a lot similar to the Kula one and the Walgreens one as far as its effect on the hair. Like I really couldn't, I didn't notice it at all. Again, I have been trying these products out. I'm wearing them consistently on camera and nobody has really said anything like what is on your scalp or you know, up by your roots or anything. They really do a good job. Provided that you spray directly to the scalp and massage in like I said. So I really like this one a lot and highly recommend it. I like all three of these. I would recommend any of these. They all, as far as the way they look, they all look the same. They all spread into the scalp really well. I actually like the fragrance of all three of these. It's not overwhelming and it doesn't, it doesn't linger. I mean, you smell it as you're spraying it on, but then you go about your day and you don't really smell it at all. Another thing that I liked about these three products, you guys know I run, I work out. Um, with sweating, they did not run down into my eyes whatsoever. So that was not a problem with these products. So those three are when I would recommend them uh, if you are in the market for a scalp product. Um, those are my top recommendations. Now I wanna point out a failed one for me. Um, this one is by Cremo. And I wanna point out one thing that took me by surprise when I first got it. I didn't realize this would be the case. This product is uh, not uh, opaque. You know, water can get through, water. Light can get through. And I, you know, that's worrisome because that can potentially compromise the stability of the filters. Unless this is just, I don't know, maybe it's got some UV blocking coating on it. I, I don't get that. This product 
is a chemical sunscreen like the others. And now it's in a vehicle that's very similar to the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen, that clear, colorless, pore blurring kind of effect. This product, however, it did not go onto my scalp very well at all. It definitely balled up and you could see it on the hair shafts. I, I say this is a pass. It's marketed for men uh, to put not only in the along the hairline and the scalp, but also in the beard area. Because this ended up kind of almost beating up on my hair shafts, I can't imagine how well this would perform on a beard on the beard area. For the beard area, you could definitely get away with using this, just spray it in your hands and massage it in. I think that that would work well for you. Or Oops, or the Walgreens one or the Kula one. Those are those are options if you can get over the fragrance. Um, but the Crema one, I just imagine is going to beat up on the hair. So that um, I'm showing it to you guys, uh, so you don't you know add it to your cart because uh, I thought that one was a fail. Moving on to the actual hair, that was the scalp. What about the hair? All right, your hair strands they can't get skin cancer, so you don't have to worry about that but ultraviolet radiation has a huge impact on the health of the hair strands uh, because what ends up happening is that uv radiation causes photo degradation of the proteins and you get protein loss from the hair that leaves the hair brittle prone to breakage dryness now the pigment in the hair melanin absorbs some of that and offsets some of the damage uh, but if you have a if you have blonde hair your hair is a lot more vulnerable to to uv damage um, so um, protecting your strands from ultraviolet radiation uh, using a sunscreen based product is a good idea i'll share with you guys some here but again just like the scalp actually the best way to protect your strands from the sun is a hat um, I have a hard time actually getting all of my hair into a hat. So, uh, you know, still my hair is going to be exposed to the elements if I were to be out at the beach or something. So I would definitely employ one of these products I'm going to share with you guys. But the other thing I want to point out to you guys, if you swim in a pool, uh, chlorine can really dry out the hair, make it very brittle and it makes it even more vulnerable to UV. So one of the products I'm going to share with you guys in today's video is a good one for those of you who swim in a pool. And that is this IGK blocked water resistant hair shield. Uh, this is great if you've got long hair uh, because not only does it, 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 not only does it have sunscreen ingredients in it to kind of, you know, absorb some of the UV that would otherwise cause protein loss from your hair, but it really does create like a water resistant coating on the hair that protects it from, from the chlorine uh, or from the salt water. Uh, salt water too can kind of dry out the hair and make it more vulnerable. If you color treat your hair, this is a great product to use for days at the pool or the beach because uh, the weathering from ultraviolet radiation plus the chlorine, it will make your hair color you know, fade very quickly. So definitely consider this. It does have a very strong odor and it is a little difficult to dissipate into the hair strands. I found it was much easier to use if my hair was wet first um, as opposed to dry. You can put it on wet or you can put it on dry either way. Um, but I found that it went into my hair a lot easier if it was wet. It's very tacky, uh, very sticky and, and tacky. Now, if you have textured hair, I would say this is a skip for you because I think that this could cause a lot of issues with tangling because it is so sticky. And I think that it could cause the kind of buildup on your hair that would lead to breakage. But for people who have long hair um, and you know swim in a pool, they don't, you don't wanna wear a cap, especially if you color treat your hair, definitely consider this. I do think it has a place in that. All right, but next up for the hair, shampoos and conditioners with UV absorbers in them by Sunbomb, their Curls and Waves shampoo and conditioner. I've been really happy with these and they do have um, uh, sunscreen filters in them. They're very moisturizing. They leave the hair pretty shiny and glossy. I mean, you could just use these as an everyday shampoo. Uh, they don't leave any kind of buildup. 
um, or anything like that. They're very, they're very moisturizing. They have sea kelp extract in them, which helps with moisture. And they also have, uh, they do have fragrance, but the fragrance is kind of nice, honestly. Um, I liked it. And they have coconut oil in them, which is good for the health of the hair shafts as well. So I highly recommend those. But, um, you know, to what extent they actually, those filters actually stay on your hair from shampoo that you then rinse off and conditioner that you then rinse off, I don't know. But I got them to try out. They are very good. But I also got these two products that I strongly encourage you guys to try out. If you have long hair um, and you want some UV absorbers on board uh, for everyday use or just, you know, kind of for days where you're mostly outside, definitely give these a try. They're very good. The three-in-one leave-in conditioner, I love this. Makes your hair really bouncy, shiny, and glossy. Um, or the detangler uh if you have especially if you have textured or curly hair the detangler is great because it you know detangles but it deposits those uv filters now as i said both of these products they do have fragrance but i actually really like the scent on these the scent on these smells pretty similar actually to the shampoo and conditioner kind of a coconut um odor <laughs> odor scent um, but it doesn't, it doesn't linger or stay around. So I highly recommend those. They are very good. So the Sunbomb products are fantastic. Now, another product I don't have here, but I've recommended it in several videos. It is fantastic. It is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Heat UV Protective Primer. This has avobenzone and octane oxide, so chemical filters that will deposit on your hair. It offers protection from heat if you heat style your hair. Um, and it also um, obviously has the UV protection. It's really good. It's very moisturizing. It leaves the hair very glossy and shiny. And for those of you who have color treated hair, it's a great product to incorporate into your routine to protect the, uh, the longevity of your, of your hair styling. The fragrance on that is a little bit stronger than these products, but it's another product. You can put it onto the hair while it's damp after shampooing, massage it in, you know, kind of like a serum. The hairdresser's invisible oil, uh, unlike the blocked by IGK, the hairdresser's invisible oil leaves your hair a lot more manageable. Because this kind of coats the hair, um, to protect it from like pool water or um, ocean water, it can leave your hair a little unmanageable, make it more prone to frizz being frizzy and tangling. The Bumble and Bumble product, however, is the opposite. It makes your hair very uh, manageable and it offers that heat protection. So if you're somebody who's heat styling, blow drying your hair, curling your hair, putting heat on it, this is a great product to incorporate because you get that heat protection. Now the heat styling will open up your hair to even more UV damage. So yet another reason why I like this product is that it, it offers some protection against the heat and then of course the, the elements. So that, that is a fantastic one. All right guys, those are the scalp and hair sunscreen products. Comment below, are you going anywhere this summer now that we can travel a little bit more like to the beach? Um, or maybe you're just hanging out at a, you know, your pool at home if you have one. Uh, share in the comments. I love to hear from you guys what you're up to. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out the Drop app. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.